Hey everyone and welcome to the DSM Tool YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about eBay Vero violations. So in today's subjects, Vero violations and how to protect your account, we're going to we are going to talk about four subjects. First, we're going to talk about what is eBay Vero for those of you who are not familiar with the concept of eBay Vero. Then we're going to talk about the difference between the official Vero list and the DSM community uh, Vero list that the DSM community have collected or how we call it reality. We're going to talk about how to avoid selling Vero items for either one of you, whether you're using DSM tool or you're sourcing uh, products manually when you do dropshipping, and we're talk gonna talk about the DSM uh, three layers Vero protection. Let's start. So what is Vero? Vero is uh, an acronym of verified rights owner. Basically, it's a list of brands that contacted eBay or that eBay collected, uh, and they are the owners of the intellectual property of their brand and what would be part of a brand intellectual property. For example, the logo, the audio if it's related, for example, intellectual property of singers would be their songs, the, uh, if they wrote the music for the song, obviously. Uh, images, stock images of that brand would be the intellectual property of that, uh, of that brand and every, anything else that you could think of and I suggest you to, if you wish, to read a little more about uh, what is intellectual property uh, over Google and you will see that it's actually a really big legal issue and in today's world where everything is media and, and media controls everywhere, I mean, you are watching a YouTube video, YouTube video is a very, very strong media uh, place. You don't want to mess with intellectual property, long story short, and that's exactly why eBay is restricting accounts or at least um, flagging items which could eventually, they mark Vero violations, which could eventually lead to restricting accounts. That, that's what this video is trying to teach you to avoid. The way to find the, the list of Vero brands is to go to vero.ebay.com it's a website. If you go there, you will see exactly what you see now on the screen, which is a list of all kinds of brands that you should avoid selling products of those brands. So let's say that you want to drop ship. I don't know if you can see on that list, I have uh, Adobe. It's right here. If I'll try to sell any product by Adobe, what eBay will do is that I will publish that item on eBay and then I will eventually, eBay will uh, take down, like end the listing and send me an, an email saying that, uh, that I, I violated the intellectual property rights of the brand owner of Adobe. And what's going to happen is that once or twice that you do that, everything would be fine. But after five or six times, you're gonna, your account will eventually get a suspension. It starts with three days suspension and then seven days suspension and eventually your account can get completely restricted. Saying that, the the list that eBay publishes on the, on the website vero.ebay.com is not actually the full list of all of the Vero brands that you should avoid selling. So the, the reason for that is that if you think about it, the intellect, the, there are so many brands and the intellectual property of the brand owners is important to many different uh, uh, brand owners and not all of them are contacting eBay. Uh, not all of them, let's say, appears on the official Vero list of eBay, but they can still contact. Actually, uh, brand owners can contact eBay. There is a special form that they can fill up and they can report a listing on eBay that they, say, that they see that violates their, uh, their intellectual property uh, ownership. And because of that reason, this is why we call this eBay official Vero versus reality, because of the reason that other brands can still report your listings. If you drop shipped items, let's say you drop shipped an item from Amazon or from Walmart or from basically any supplier that you can think of and the brand owner found that listing and decided to report your listing, you're also going to get marked with an eBay uh, violation. So we're going to talk about the solution for that uh, soon, but uh, that's what is important for me. Like you have to know that even with that list of uh, official Vero uh, brands, even that list is not really the full list. And I'll, I'll say one more word about it. If, if you think about it further, 
There are new brands coming up every day. If you're familiar, for example, with Amazon private labeling, which is a, a method of, it's not exactly a dropshipping method, some would call it dropshipping, some would not. If you're familiar with that method, you would know that brands are being created every day and not every brand owner is very happy that people are dropshipping his items or people are publishing his items on different channels that he did not agree about. Therefore, the list is growing. So we'll get to the solution soon. Let's first talk about how to avoid selling viral products. And I'm full disclosure, we have for each one of those points, we have a solution in DSM tool and I'm, that I'm going to show. But if you're either uh, doing dropshipping manually or anything like that, what you want to do in order to avoid uh, and make sure that you're not selling Vero items is first check vero.ebay.com when you publish a new item. Take the brand name and check if it's in the list. More than that, since the list changes from time to time, the official list doesn't change that often from my experience, but it could change. It is important to once in a while monitor your existing listings. So for example, take a sample, do it maybe once a month or so, take a sample of five or six items, check their brand name, check if it's now on the Vero list, just to make sure that you're not by any chance violating or, or being marked with a Vero violation. And the last point, the third point is to avoid listing brands. And that means that if there are known brands for the category, and once you start selling more and more products from a specific category, you know the brands, you would slowly get familiar with the risk of of which brands could be maybe more risky and maybe you will see more, maybe the, the brand owner or the company that manufactures the, the product. If they do a lot of marketing, for example, and do a lot of advertisements, they most likely would not like people to sell their items without their permission. And therefore, if they will see your listing, they might report it as a violation. So try to avoid those brands. It's really hard to do. It's like a very vogue uh, concept and idea. And, I'm going now to show you the solutions that we have in DSM tool that will allow you not to even think about uh, doing all those things manually. But if you do do it manually, well, these are my tips for you. So let's talk about how it's done in DSM tool. First, all of the eBay official Vero list is completely blocked in DSM tool. If you try to list an item that is a Vero brand, like Lego in that example, you're gonna get an error. Uh, that says your brand uh, violates eBay verified right owners. It's Vero protection. You can read more about it. It will lead you to a help center article that talks basically about what I'm talking about in this video. So all of the official Vero list, if, it, the, if the brand name of the item uh, is found by us in the supplier website where it says brand name, we check, the e we check it in front of the eBay official Vero list. And if it, it's there, we just block it. Not only that, we add another layer of protection. So in, the, in, in DSM, there is in the page called price monitor, at the bottom, you can find a, a button that says report Vero. And if you got, vi if you got a violation of any Vero brand that is not on the official list, what we do is we ask the community to help and report it there. And we've collected over two and a half years that DSM exists, we've collected thousands of names of brands. And we allow, in the account settings, we allow the users either to uh, block those or block those from being published to eBay or not block those from being published to eBay. I always suggest that if you don't have a permission from the uh, brand owner, always block those items, never publish those items or try maybe to contact the brand and get the permission to sell their items. If you are using DSM, what, what's going to happen is that those brands are, those, the items that has this, this brand name are going to be blocked both if they are in the official list or if they're in the reported list, they're reported by other users, by other dropshippers list. Of course, you have to uh, like set it up or allow it in your list or settings. If you're already a DSM user, make sure that it is set to protect you from that. And the last uh, layer that I want to talk about today is a layer is a, actually a new feature that we just recently released, which is a scanner that takes all of your items. Remember that I said that brands can change and suddenly a brand can go into the list, either to the official list or to the reported list, like the reported by other dropshippers list. So what we did is we, we uh, created a scanner that every 24 hours goes one by one through all of your items and it creates an alert in the dashboard that says that you, if you have any brands, any items with brand name that appears in that list 
and you're in risk for being marked with a Vero violation, the scanner will throw or will create an alert in your dashboard. If you click on that alert, you will see those items and will be able to take an immediate action. My requirement is obviously to end those items on eBay. There is no reason to sell them. And that's it. It's, it's done for you automatically and we hope that you will enjoy it. One last small tip. If you're using the DSM tool for Chrome Chrome extension, which we are now uh, doing a lot of work on and we're improving it and we're, it's going to be supported in all of the DSM sources for copy and pasting addresses and updating tracking information and collecting items and a lot of cool stuff. What we're also trying to do is that if the, ver if the brand name appears on the page, like in Amazon, for example, the brand, the brand appears like right under the title, um, we mark it already in the source website as Vero item. And then when you're collecting products, when you're doing sourcing and you're collecting products with the Chrome extension, you could avoid those immediately. You don't even need to get to the lister stage. Uh, if you find, if you are using some uh, supplier that, that has a website and it's supported by DSM, if it's not supported by DSM, contact us and tell us. We always like to get feature requests and we are uh, supporting more and more suppliers especially in 2019, you're going to see many new suppliers that are being supported. If you do see anywhere in their page, in the product page, that they show the brand name and we didn't mark it as a Vero, also contact us and write us. Maybe we didn't, maybe our developers didn't see it and then we would love to add a Vero mark to that supplier that you're working with. So it will reduce the risk uh, for you when you're working with that supplier. That's it for today. Thank you very much for joining. If you like what we're doing, if you like those videos, please, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, share it with anyone that you know that is doing dropshipping. We're going to be here back soon with a new feature, which is uh, supporting uh, publishing of product variations, which is a very, very requested feature that we are working on. It's going to be an amazing user experience to use that feature. And we are going to do videos and content about how to use it in order to improve sales and not just waste your money on listing just multiple variables useless variations. So more on that in the next video. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe.